here's a description of uh, a photo called Australian Pines by John Fall. Uh, I will read the student's description first. Um, and then we'll make the photo viewable and see how we can help the student expand the description. The photograph Australian Pines by John Fall is seven and a half inches by nine and a half inches. The picture is set to be horizontal. The piece is a colored landscape. Fall uses rectangles throughout this piece. Within the landscape, you can see the area that is water is just about a perfect rectangle. All of these rectangular pieces are horizontal. The tree trunks are very thin cylinders. They are all vertical. Where the tree trunks appear to meet the water, you can see Fall's main theme of this photograph. The man-made objects wrapped closely around each of the tree trunks. Each object that I just mentioned work together to create this piece of art. The way that the trees look show the depth of the photograph. By the form of the trees, you can tell that the water is long distance away from the photographer. Each object allows the photo to gain more depth. Each object shows to be further away from the last. The light plays into this photo as well. The grass by the tree trunks appears to be in a dark, shadow-like lighting. The rest of the photo that is farther out is very bright. It does not appear to be direct sunlight, but rather a brighter value of light than shown from the grass. <clears throat> okay, good. You stuck to the assignment and just describing forms. Um, where is tree trunks are very thin cylinders? They are all vertical. That's correct. By the form of the trees, you can tell that the water is long distance away from the photographer. Okay, uh, what we need to do is describe the form. So which form? Form can be round, it can be tall, it can be small, it can be a different shape, it can be wide, it can be thin. So what form is telling us that? I think what the student is looking for, what form the student is looking for is how tall these trees are versus how tall the body of water appears to be. Okay. So it's a matter of scale that shows us near. What's near us looks big. What's far away from us looks small. All the rec here. There's a quote. Uh, all of these rectangular pieces are horizontal. Uh, students talking about within the landscape. You can see that the area that is water is just about a perfect rectangle. That's true. So talking about this area, it's perfect. Almost a perfect rectangle. Much better than I can draw with the tablet. All of these rectangular, rectangular pieces are horizontal. Okay. Well, they appear horizontal because it feels like they're behind the trees, right? There's this overlap with the trees. Like the trees are overlapping this horizontal piece. Actually, if I drew it this way. So you have this horizontal, thin horizontal strip. of water and these thin vertical trees. So the trees look, they overlap in front of the water.
Now, a lot of the description centered in around all the action that's going on here. And it does seem to be the focal point. So you should mention where the focal point is located on the lower half of the picture. But what's happening up here? If all this stuff, and that's a lot of the picture. Same with down here. There's a lot going on there. That's a lot less um, geometric, a lot more organic. So there is a different size to this area and this area. There's also a different size to this area versus, say, the beach and the ocean and even the sky. Um, so that should be mentioned, but also what colors are happening here? What textures are happening here? Actually, what now? Yeah, what colors and textures? It's more texture, similar texture. And what's the textural difference between the sky, the ocean, and the leaves of the trees? So I think every sentence in the description that the student had could use one or two more sentences to expand, add another descriptive thing. You have shape and then add size. Uh, you have location of that shape and, and its size. And then what about the color of that shape? What about the texture of that shape? What about how light or dark that shape is? And then you compare that shape to others in the picture. And that's how you expand the description.